Okay, so we've got another paper one jog your memory exam question here. Um, so this has come off of one of the past papers. They like to ask you about development indicators. So make sure you know your different indicators for economic, social and um, political indicators to show how advanced a country is. Um, this question here is asking you in particular about HDI. So the question says, explain how the HDI measures the health of a population. So you first of all need to know what different factors HDI uses to measure um, development. Then you need to think about which one of these factors links specifically to health for that first mark. Then the second mark needs to come from an explanation as to how this shows health. So I've popped some images up there to help you. So pause the video clip. Two minutes, have a go answering the question, then we will look over the mark scheme together. So if you pause that clip now. Okay, so welcome back. So we're going to have a look at the answer to this question. The mark scheme was very specific as to what you needed to do to get the marks in this answer. So it says award one mark for correctly identifying life expectancy as a component of HDI. So if you have not mentioned life expectancy in your answer, you will get zero marks for this question. Um, so have a look for your answer. Make sure you've got life expectancy. Um, life expectancy is one of the components that is used to measure HDI. Um, so it's your health, your wealth and your education. So the health comes from that life expectancy. Your education is your years in um, education, so the amount of years uh, somebody is attending school. And your wealth is your GDP per capita. So you need to make sure you know those three different factors that are used to calculate this. Then your further mark is a bit easier to get. So if you get that first mark life expectancy, then people tend to get that second mark as well. So the further mark is for an explanation of life expectancy or it's linked to human health. So, for example, HDI me measures life expectancy one mark, which is the average number of years a person is expected to live. So there's your second mark. Life expectancy gives an indication of the level of access to health services. Um, you could also say something like how healthy a person is or um, how it shows how well how good their diet is or how good their quality of life is due to um, a lack of illness or something like that. Um, that will get you the mark. So that second mark is easy to get. However, you can't get it without that um, life expectancy. I would suggest if you don't know about your development indicators that you go through, you read through that section of the revision guide. You make sure you know your different um, indicators, especially ones to do with um, political, economic and your social factors. So that is found on page 21 of the revision guide. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.